Hey guys, this is Chris, the Old School Picker. We had 24 sales this weekend with over $700 in total sales this weekend. I've got a ton of stuff to ship. Let's pull some orders. Alright, these first two orders um, are on the newer account, the small account, baby account, second account, whatever you want to call it. But I will go ahead and get these out of the way because they are smaller sales. But I sold two of these, and I sold them as a lot. Two of these uh, Littlest Pet Shop uh, Hide and Sweet little figures. You can see it. Sold them for $8 plus shipping. Alright, the next sale I had was the Shoe Trees. Um, these wasn't bad. I, I picked them up for $0.99 cents at the Goodwill. I've seen other people on YouTube sell them, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll try them. They were new in the package. Uh, if they wasn't new, I probably wouldn't have fooled with them, but new in the package, so easy to ship. Paid 99 cents for them, and they sold for $9.95 plus shipping. I will say, I've not had these a long, long time, so not bad. All right, on to the main account. This um, record sold, David Allen Cole. Great song, uh, singer, country music singer. Uh, it's the Just Divorced, I believe is the name of the record. And it sold for, I picked it up for 99 cents at thrift store. And honestly, I only bought it because I like I like him. So, and it's not in the greatest of condition, but it still sold for $5.95 plus shipping. Stick with me though, because we got some good sales coming. Next order I had going out was this Family Bible. Uh, it's the cat, Catholic version, I believe, Catholic Life Edition. It is new. The dirt you see on it is on the plastic. It's not on the actual Bible, if you can see it. Um, it's brand new, sealed. I picked these up at uh, a local thrift store. I paid $1.99 for them. I've had them for a while, and I've still got one, but finally one sold for $14.95 plus shipping. Um, the buyer sent me a message that says, thank you very much for your kind offer. I did send them an offer. I had it listed for $19.95, sent an offer for $14.95. It is greatly appreciated, and we lost our family Bible in heavy water damage. I look forward to this new one, and they signed their name. I don't think they're a viewer, but I just wanted to share that because how often do we get good messages as eBay sellers? Very rarely, so I wanted to share that one. All right, next order I had going out is this vintage compact uh LTE 5400 uh, laptop. I got this out of a storage unit as well. So, you know, nothing in it as far as real money. Pennies on the dollar. Um, I had it listed pretty high. I had it listed for, I think, 200 at one time. I reduced it to 159.95, And a uh, guy sent an offer this morning. Or girl. I don't know. Sent an offer this morning for 125 um, plus shipping, so I took it. <laughs> yeah, so to get it out of here, it is heavy, but I think it's just going to Florida, so shipping shouldn't be too bad. But I mean, I use calculated shipping, so I'm good. But 125 dollars, glad to get it going, and a good sale. Next order I had is this Magellan GPS uh, Model 320 or 320 i picked this up at a yard sale not too long ago just like a month or so ago right before the shutdown um i got to go yard sales i think for two weekends and i picked this up at one of them and i paid five dollars for it which was a little much but not you know it's okay i thought i was hoping it would be better it sold for $17.95 but be on the lookout for these older gps units they can be pretty good and this just happens to not be one of the great ones, but five into seventeen ninety five, not bad. <laughs> All right, next item I had or I sold was um, this Guitar Hero Red Octane. It's for the PlayStation Two. Part of my death pile, I think I listed. I listed four of these thursday or friday and i sold two of them this weekend so this was one of them that sold these things so great i pick them up at yard sales or thrift stores all the time for two or three bucks 
I have no idea what I paid for this particular one, but it wouldn't have been more than two or three dollars. And it sold for $24.95 plus shipping. And these I usually stick two 1095 boxes together and ship them out. So it's really not that bad to ship them. Next item that I sold was these uh, gummy bear well, Nami bears. I guess generic gummy bears, but either way multivitamin for kids i picked this up at my dollar source before before all this lockdown and um, they sold for 12.95 plus shipping right now is definitely the time to be selling uh, supplements health and beauty uh, i think it's a good time to sell it anytime but right now when people's not wanting to go out if you have this stuff laying around and sealed unopened list 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 next item i had going out is this is a rarity rarity for me uh this was a retail arbitrage deal and if you watch my channel you know i do not do that a whole lot but about this it's a alejandra blaze figure wwe wrestler um i think her name was medusa on wcw but that's wrestling nerd stuff but uh I picked this up for I think it was either two fifty or three dollars, and I picked up uh, I think I have two of them, so finally sold one of them. I've had them for a while, and I've had them listed for a while, but this one sold for nine ninety five plus shipping. Next item I had going out was this vintage board game. It's the vintage Tudor Major League Baseball electronic baseball game. I have a video and I'll link it above of when I bought all these games. I bought six games for eleven dollars like this basketball football uh there was a some kind of hunting game in it uh one a real good deal this is one of my better deals in a while this was probably the cheapest game i've got one left i've sold five of them and this was the cheapest one i've sold so far and it sold for 19.95 plus shipping but i have sold some of them for 50 and 60 dollars so i'm very happy with i'm very happy with that deal overall but they can be a pain to ship. Next item I had going out was this puzzle. I have no idea at this point how many puzzles I've sold. I think this is the sixth or seventh one in the last two weeks or three weeks. But once again, man, if you've got them, list them. Uh, they don't sell for big money, but now's the time to get rid of them. I mean, I'm selling more puzzles now than I do in the wintertime, which is when puzzles are good. But either way, this sold for uh, $7.95 plus shipping. Not one of my better ones, but I usually don't pay more than $0.99 cents or $1.99 for them. But honestly, I'm glad to get rid of them because they take up a lot of room. So, good sell. Next item I had going out was this Scentsy Buddy. And no, it's not a giant plush, but it is a plush. I got a bunch of these um, in a bulk buy. And I've sold all of them. I think this is probably the last one I've got. But they smell so good if you've never had Scentsy Buddies. They got scent packs inside them. Uh, this is one of the cheaper ones. I have sold some for $20 and $30. But, and I can't remember what I had in them. It was like a buck a piece or something. But either way, this one sold for $7.95 plus shipping. And it is a gorilla. <laughs> That's right, I sold another guitar. Um, this is the second one I sold this weekend. It is the Harmonix 822151 model number. I've sold this model number several times. I believe it's, let's uh, see, yes, it's PlayStation 3. And I sold it for $24.95 as well. So, plus shipping. I'm glad to get rid of it. Unfortunately, it's not one that comes apart at the neck. So, but once again, I'll just stick two 1095 boxes together and ship it out good stuff and it, like i said i usually pay a couple of bucks for them and both of those guitars were in my death pile uh i may have said this earlier but i just listed them either thursday or friday i believe i listed them friday and two of them sold this weekend so awesome 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 next sale was this uh thunderbird book it's a book of uh, old vintage thunderbirds the history of the ford thunderbird awesome book it's actually it's actually worth quite a bit if it's got the dust cover mine however did not but i still and it's got some writing in it i still picked it up for 50 cents at a thrift store not too long ago 
and uh, I've had it for a little while, not too bad, but it finally sold for nine dollars, and I sent a best offer, I believe, nine dollars plus shipping, and it'll go media mail, so it'll be cheap. Next item I had going out was this JVC camcorder in the case, and it had some accessories, and it was working. It had the charger cable and all that. I'm not going to take it out and see it, but you can see it in the picture. But I paid I paid up for this a little bit. Um, once again, I was hoping it would be worth a little more. I looked it up and I thought I could get I thought I could get closer to 50 out of it. And I actually listed it I think for 70, and I've reduced it, reduced it, reduced it. And uh, but it finally sold. I think I ended up bringing it all the way down to 39.95 and it still didn't sell but i was getting a lot of watchers on it so i sent an offer out to 32 for 32.95 plus shipping and it finally sold so 15 into 32.95 not great but i'm glad to get rid of it and get my money back next item i had going out was another hernia belt yes i know they look funny but if you need it you need it um picked this up at my dollar source before the shutdown I sold one I think last week so this was my second one I've sold and this is the last one I have picked these up for a dollar I ran a sale this weekend and this sold for eleven sixteen plus shipping next item I had going out was this Medal of Honor PlayStation 1 that's the OG the original the old school one um, I listed a bunch of video games one day last week I'm not sure I think it was last Sunday if I remember right uh, just death pile i had a stack of games i took a bunch in there and tested them and uh, this was probably the cheapest thank god because it only sold for a dollar 95 plus shipping but it was the game only no um no original case i did put it in this case to ship it in of course and also no ma manual which this is not a very good game to begin with so i put it as cheap as i possibly could to get rid of it because what else am i going to do with it at this point i'm not going to play it who has time we're resellers next order i had going out was this uh, vintage lot of i don't know what they are they're craft where you make crafts dolls these are uh, i bought a huge huge tub this if you've heard my story about the transformers this came from the same guy he had a tub full of craft stuff and it was all new in package and i asked him what he wanted and he said a dollar and i said man i can't pay you no because i mean they was literally i I think they were probably 300 pieces in the tub. I was like, I can't pay you a dollar a piece for all that. What do you want for the whole tub? He said, no, I mean a dollar for the whole tub. I couldn't say no. <laughs> I really I really didn't want them because I didn't want to fool, fool with them. But because uh, I like reselling stuff I like to deal with. But I couldn't pass that up because they was all brand new. They were, um, I got a bunch of zippers, brand new zippers, brand new of these um craft kits like this so i just logged them up in smaller lots and this was a lot of i think so let me see one two three four five six this was a lot of six i know entertaining to watch me count i know but it sold for 21 20 95 plus shipping so how can you go wrong and i made i don't know i made like 10 or 12 of these lots I may have them priced a little too high because this is the first one I've sold, which I've not had them forever. But I need to go on there and reduce some of them just to get rid of them. But man, I am so glad I made that deal because a, do a dollar for 300 pieces. So it was it was a good deal. Next item I had going out is this Pokey No. It's some kind of card game. I have no idea. Uh, it sold. I had it on sale. I've had it for a little while. I picked this up at a thrift store for a couple bucks. I don't know. Actually, this is in one of my thrifting video, thrifting haul videos, I believe, if you go back and watch it. So, I don't know. But I have no idea what I gave for it. But it wasn't much. It sold for eight seventy six. I had it on sale as well. I ran a pretty big sale this weekend, which is some of the reason I had good sale numbers. But I want to get rid of inventory because I think they're getting ready to turn us loose as far as open the economy economy back up, which means thrift stores are going to be booming and yard sales will start going 
in my opinion or at least i hope that's what happens so i want to get as much inventory out of here as i can get as much capital build up as i can money that i can spend and put towards new inventory that's my plan next order i had going out was this detroit piston from 2004 when they won the national uh, the nba championship and it's just a cheap plastic license plate and a cheap plastic license plate holder but it sold i paid i can't remember i got it at a thrift store quite a while ago i think i paid a couple of bucks for it not much and it sold for $17.95 plus shipping. I was really, really happy with that sale because I thought that was very good for what it is. All right. I like to never found this thing. I spent way too much time looking for it, like three or four minutes, which is too long. I think it's from the movie Good Dinosaur. It is Disney. Disney store. Um, little mug. Cute. I picked this up. I have no idea. I think it came out of a storage unit a long time ago when I was cleaning up storage units. But I listed it and it sold for $8.95 plus shipping. Next item I had going out was this Squadron Signal Publications books. If you do not know about these, do it. Take take just a minute and do some research. Pull up sold listings on Squadron Signal books publications. You'll see it right there. And look some of those books up and just sort it by highest to lowest. Some of them can be really, really good. I had a bunch of these back years and years ago. Me and my brother-in-law bought out a, a guy that had a collection. I'm talking thousands and thousands of these books. And we sold some of them for, I think we sold some for 30, 40, 50 bucks. But a lot of them are just cheap. And they're not hardly as popular as they used to be, I don't believe. But anytime I see them just based on the knowledge that I have of them from years ago. I pick them up if they're cheap. Uh, I knew this wasn't one of the good ones, but I picked it up for 99 cents. And it sold for $4.95 plus shipping. But seriously, look up Squadron Signal. That's a bolo. Next item I had going out was, um, and I'm not taking them out, but these half-inch uh, drive uh, sockets, large sockets. They're Husky brand. Husky's a decent brand um i pick these up and i'll ship them in a box uh husky's a decent brand it, it sells okay i picked them up in a lot yard sale again the guy had a tub of tools for 15 bucks and i seen a couple of pieces of snap-on and i seen these in there i didn't look at them anymore I just bought it and uh, these sold for $14.95 plus shipping so that's pretty much my money back just on the one sale and I got a lot more stuff um, and what I don't want as far as to sell on eBay I'll either keep if I need it personally or I will put the rest of it in a box and sell it locally for whatever I can get out of it just to get rid of it so I won't get stuck with the ones I don't want because there was a lot of China tools and stuff like that in it and they're not worth anything but somebody will pick it up off facebook marketplace for 10 50. i can probably with what's left i can probably get my 15 dollars back just off what's left and then have i know i've got three or four lots on ebay of stuff and then i've got some more that i'm gonna list too so it'll probably end up being a close to a hundred dollar deal maybe so pretty good if you've not ever sold used tools before you know it's worth looking into uh just stick with your major brands and the last item and i saved it for last for a reason because it you know saved the best for last this is definitely the best it's one of the best sales i've had in quite a while actually and um if you follow me you know the story but i'll tell it again so this original 1984 megatron and the box is rough it is and um i want to be careful or it's going to be rougher but the toy is actually in very good condition and i believe it's complete missing the instruction manual this came from uh this came from the yard sale i go to quite a bit where he cleans out storage units um cleans them out brings them back to his storage unit and has a yard sale there and sometimes he puts value on stuff as far as looking it up on ebay and kind of selling it as ebay prices but for whatever reason he does not value toys. Um, I've bought toys from him before for really good deals. And uh, a lot of his items are a dollar a piece. 
and it's less than a, it's about a mile from my house so it's crazy for me not to go and this was right before the shutdown happened so i was like you know this may be the last chance i get to go to a yard sale he started at eight o'clock in the morning he started the yard sale at eight o'clock in the morning he had three or four units that day full of stuff and i didn't get there until 10 30 and i went into one of the units and picked out a few things for a few dollars and then i went into the second unit that he had opened and i seen that original megatron and i was also bought an original optimus prime they were together so i picked them up asked how much they wanted for them uh the the daughter his daughter which now she's not young she's like 25 26 years old and she usually runs it for him i've only caught him there a few times it's usually just her and uh so i asked her what she wanted for him she said two dollars each and i about fell on the floor because i knew what they were at, at that point i knew what they were i wasn't 100 percent sure they were original to begin with but after I picked them up and seen how the boxes were and stuff, I knew they were the original. But I sold that one this weekend for $208.95. And I paid $2 for it. So, wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I wish, you know, every sale was like that. But we know as resellers it's not. I had it listed a high. I had it listed for $249.95, $250. Um... And I knew it wasn't worth hardly that much just based on the condition of the box. But when I looked them up, there were some that were on auction that had sold for over $200 without any box at all. Just the figures and the accessories. And I said, well, if theirs is worth $200 without a box, even though my box is rough, it's worth at least 200 bucks. So I wasn't going to take any less than 200 for it. I would have just kept it at, at that point. I love toys. You know that from watching me. So, but so I reduced it this weekend for two thirty nine. The guy sent me an offer for two hundred, I believe. I countered it at two oh eight ninety five, and he accepted. And I was like, you know, and I would have, I I, I almost accepted the two hundred dollar offer, and I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold out just a little because I've not had them long. I'm talking. I've probably had them about a month. That was probably about a month ago. So, yeah, I could. I feel like I could have got two hundred dollars out of it a month ago. So I was like, well, you know. And is it worth waiting four weeks for eight dollars? No, it's not. But um, for me, it was. Uh, some people say, you know, you shouldn't wait, and that is a choice for sure. I purposely listed it high, uh, and I, I do that because if you list things high something like that that has a lot of interest in it and put best offer on you can kind of pick and choose who you sell it to if somebody with a few feedback would have sent me an offer i would be more hesitant to take that offer for them if somebody with a strong feedback sent me an offer this guy i believe he's got 1200 feedback 1246 so he's probably a legit buyer you know he's been around he's been around ebay for a while to accumulate that kind of feedback so i felt comfortable with selling it to him i pray and cross my fingers that there's no problems but i don't think they will be i don't expect it i'm not scared at all i'm not worried about it like i said worst case scenario i'm out two dollars but you know you want the 208 <laughs> if you sold it for 208 you want the 208 right so but it sold for $208.95, and I paid $2 for it. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. Glad to see it go to somebody that's going to appreciate it, I do believe. All right, guys, it is late on Sunday night. I'm going to stay up for a while and ship. I'm not going to record it. I'm going to cut the video off because I feel like it's probably been a long video. I had 20, 24 sales between both accounts, So, and it's... It's 9 o'clock on Sunday night, so is there time for more between now and Monday morning? Absolutely. So I may have, if I do have a few more sales, I'll try to add them to this video. But if not, thank you so much for watching. I should be over a 1,000 watch hours by the time this video comes out. I'm very close. I appreciate that so much. Uh, I'm doing pretty good on my subs. I still 
I've been stuck around the 520 mark, so if you can share me out, um, I would appreciate that so much. I appreciate everybody watching. I'm I need 3,000 more hours, so I gotta I gotta keep putting videos out and keep putting lives out. I will get back to doing lives soon. I've took a little time off just to concentrate on pre-recorded, but I will get back into it and start mixing them up pretty soon. So. Hope your sales were as good as, as good as mine this weekend. Old school picker out. I just had another sale come in. I mean, I'm telling you right now, as soon as I cut the camera off, my phone went cha-ching. I wish I'd caught it on camera, but it didn't. But either way, I can't even believe it because I'm telling you right now, I know y'all ain't going to believe it because so, I don't believe it. But as soon as I cut the camera, phone, camera off, my phone went cha-ching. This Panasonic Lumix camera, I bought a deal on um, cameras not too long ago. I usually buy cameras in bulk. If you can find them in bulk, you don't have to worry about it because their value there. This one, so I think I paid $40 for a box of them. It had four or five cameras in it, four or five lenses in it. I've sold just about all of it besides this one. This is one of the last things I had out of the deal. This has been a while back. And it sold for, and this is the camera. Uh, it has the lens on it and the flash, bulk deal, bag, everything included. Twenty nine ninety five plus shipping. So I'm glad to get this out here as well. So once again, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll update you again. I don't know. We'll see. I hope I hope I have to sell ten more things. I hope this is a two hour video. But if not, thanks for watching again. Old school picker out again.